Hello, here I am again, this time to assist you in writing a technical paper extracted from your FYP. If you have not recognized me yet, that's me near the Matterhorn in Switzerland and that's me in Serbia last January. Many guides are available based on individual experience. There are strong and missing features, depends on aims and research themes. I'm here to assist you in writing that technical paper perhaps five to six pages, perhaps about 12, yeah, extracted from your final year project. It's worth 5% of the overall marks of your FYP. How do you start? Well, the first step is to read other good technical papers, preferably those written by the FYP students of your supervisor. In particular, those that have been published in a journal or conference paper. Well, if you can't get those, any papers that have been written by your uh, supervisor's FYP students is good as a starting point. Uh, then you obtain the information on the journal conference that you're asked to write uh, for. I think in SKM, it would be journal mechanical. So you must obtain the format, font, margins, referencing, citation, etc. for journal mechanical. Yeah, the length, maximum number of pages. I think I believe minimum is five to six pages. And decide on the language you are going to use, whether it's British English or American English, and stay consistent throughout the paper, just as you should in your thesis, among other things. Now remember, following the rules and styles of the paper is your responsibility. Organization. I'm sure you have written your uh, FYP thesis by now or almost done is about 100 pages or less and if your supervisor in particular asks you to write to a, for a journal then it's about 25 pages or less. In general for most of you you'll be writing for a conference paper or journal mechanical less than 12 pages. I think journal mechanical minimum like I said five to six pages. Differences Yes, for your thesis is all that you did in terms of quantity and quality. For a journal paper, it's more technical and concise, focus. For that journal mechanical conference paper, it's quite superficial. Well, what can you do with five to six pages? Yeah, but the final say on the content should be agreed upon with your supervisor and his or her co-authors. Now, avoid plagiarism. What is plagiarism? the unauthorized use of the language and thoughts of another author and the representation of them as one's own. You know, I know some of you uh, find it um, lightly, take it lightly to just copy and paste some text and paragraphs and then you went ahead to cite the sources. That is still not acceptable because in the publication world, even when the source is acknowledged, Copying without permission from the authorized owner is considered an infringement of copyright. And of course, you are writing your thesis or the technical paper with your name on it. And if you have lifted passages and put it in the thesis or article, the readers would think that those are from your own thoughts. Yeah, so that is plagiarism. Now, the technical paper itself consists of four main sections. There's the abstract, the last thing you write actually, introduction, methodology, results and discussion. With a limited number of pages for conference paper or general mechanical for our case, we go reverse engineering. That's my suggestion. That means we go to the results and discussion first. Here is a sample of a, a chapter 4 from my students FYP. As you can see here, there is figure 4.1. Figure 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, up to 4.7. There are so many figures. But we only chose table 4.1 with the related figure 4.1. Remember, it's only 5 to 6 pages. You can't include all the figures from your thesis. And then, once you've decided on the figures, you can extract the related discussion of that particular figure. In this case, figure 4.1. So, you can modify, edit, and discuss with your supervisor how to discuss this in your technical paper. Now, figure 4.1 has now been rewritten as figure 2 in the technical paper. Only two figures in the technical paper. Next, we 
we go one section earlier, methodology. So here you present the uh, schematic diagram, equations, parameters and values used to get the results for the figures, the results selected in 3.0. Not everything from your thesis, only those related to the figures and results uh, included in 3.0. Yeah, the numbers, etc. Then you go back one section earlier. So here you present background of the issue. Note that this is the issue presented in the paper, not your thesis. So you have literature review that is selected from your chapter 1 or chapter 2 of your thesis. If the theme of the technical paper is energy, you have improved the energy, efficiency, effectiveness, or it's a different approach, then the literature review selected from your thesis will be those related to this theme. Yeah, and you must have at least a few cited references from the past three years to show that the study is current. Same goes with your thesis. Conclusion. Summarize what has been done, referring to the work presented in the paper. Again, not the thesis. Yeah. So explicitly state the results obtained. Let's say if you have obtained a 20% improvement, state that in the conclusion. And also state benefits and perhaps recommendations in the conclusion. Finally, the abstract. Now, in the abstract, you present the issue, the problem, and your method to address the problem. Finally, your results explicitly stated. Again, 20% improvement. State that in the abstract. It's almost similar to the conclusion, but never exactly the same. So, the technical paper consists of these sections. You have the title, which you agree upon with the supervisor. It may be exactly the same as the title of the thesis. may be different because just extraction. Remember, five to six pages out of your 100-page thesis. Then we have authors and affiliations, which uh, your supervisor may uh, agree to add her, her or his co-researchers and graduate students. Then you have the abstract, introduction, methodology, experimental setup, results and discussion, conclusion, and acknowledgement if your supervisor receive some grants from other sources. Finally, the references. This is a sample of a final year project a technical paper, actually good enough uh, to be submitted and accepted, published in uh, ISI Index Journal uh, a year ago. Yeah, so notice that if you can read the abstract, we have the problem here, the method of solving, addressing the problem, and the results, you see 6.92% uh, improvement, plus uh, cooling power here, and also the benefits of the outcome of this study. This was for a journal published this year. And this was presented also my FYP uh, technical paper, presented at a conference in Fukuoka, Japan last year. So here we have uh, yeah, the gra my graduate student and my co-researchers. That's it. Remember, your supervisor generally has the final say on the style of the write-up. Thank you.